Welcome to the first part in a short tutorial series on the Ultimate XR Framework. This is a fairly new framework for Unity, and one that I've only recently become aware of. It has been developed by a company called VRMADA, whom develop and deploy VR training simulations. The framework was originally used internally for their VR projects, but they have now generously made it available to the public. What's more, it's completely free and open source. Despite being free, Ultimate XR offers some rather advanced and polished features. Let's take a look at the sample scene that comes with the framework. I've built and deployed the Ultimate XR demo scene to my MetaQuest 2 and found that it runs smoothly at 72 FPS. The framework supports most of the major VR headsets however, not just the Quest. Anyway, here you can see my avatar in the mirror. The hands are tracking my touch controllers and inverse kinematics are being used to move the avatar's arms and torso correspondingly. Let's move on to the next room. To unlock the shooting range, I need to place my palm on the hand scanner. Here I can try a variety of weapons, using both one-handed and two-handed grips. Now, let's move on to the laboratory. You may have noticed that whenever I grab an object, be it a gun or a light bulb, the hand forms itself to naturally grip the object. In fact, one notable feature of Ultimate XR is that it has its own visual hand pose tool, built into the Unity editor itself. Notice that the lamp, laser and monitor are all fixed to articulated arms, that again exhibit inverse kinematics. There are also what looks like power cells or canisters here, that can be placed into these sockets. The last room simply contains a monitor, giving visual feedback on individual input readings received from the touch controllers. So that's the sample scene. If you want more information on Ultimate XR, then you can go to its homepage at ultimatexr.io. For a summary of the framework's main features, go to the guides section. There's a link in the description. Has this piqued your interest? Do you wish to try out the demo scene for yourself? If so, I will now show you how to make a build of the Ultimate XR sample scene, specifically for the MetaQuest 2. As mentioned however, Ultimate XR supports multiple platforms, so this tutorial may be helpful even if you own another headset. Ok, so let's get on with it. Open Unity Hub. We need to create another 3D project, which uses the Universal Render Pipeline. Click the New Projects button. Select the latest LTS version of the editor. Then select 3D URP from the list of templates. Give your project a name and click the Create Project button. While the Unity editor is loading, make sure your headset is switched on and connected to your PC. Once the editor has loaded, the first thing we will want to do is configure the build settings. Go to the top menu, click File and then Build Settings. In the Build Settings window, since we are targeting the Quest, switch the platform to Android. OK, in order for our project to be ready for MetaQuest development, we need to make a number of changes to our project settings. This also involves installing the XR plugin management package and enabling the Oculus plugin for both Android and Windows. If you are not familiar with this process, then please watch my video titled How to optimize Unity project settings for Oculus slash MetaQuest 2. There's a link in the description. Of course, if you are using a different VR headset, then set up your project accordingly. OK, assuming your project is now set up for your headset, let's continue. First, we need to get the Ultimate XR framework from the Unity Asset Store. Open a web browser and go to assetstore.unity.com. Make sure you are logged in via your Unity account. Now type Ultimate XR into the Asset Store search bar. The Ultimate XR framework should appear in your search results. Click on it. On the Ultimate XR page, 
click on add to my assets, accept the terms of service. You can close the browser now. Now go back to the Ultimate XR project in the Unity editor. We need to import the Ultimate XR framework via the package manager. Go to the top menu and click on window and then package manager. The package manager window will appear. In the package manager, go to the packages filter menu at the top of the packages list. Make sure my assets is selected. Select Ultimate XR from the list of packages. Click the download button. Wait for the package to download, then click import. The import Unity package window will open. Go to this window and click the import button. The Ultimate XR framework will now start importing into your project. Once it has finished, close the package manager window. You will notice that there is a new folder called Ultimate XR in your assets folder. Ok, before we open the sample scene, there is one more step that the Ultimate XR documentation recommends that Oculus developers do, and that is to install the Oculus integration package. Ultimate XR actually provides its own little tool for checking the required SDKs. It's called the SDK Manager. Go to the top menu and click Tools, Ultimate XR, and then the SDK Manager. The Ultimate SDK Manager window will appear. In the Oculus section, click the Get SDK button. Click Yes to proceed to the Asset Store. This will automatically open your web browser at the Oculus integration page of the Unity Asset Store. Again, make sure you have logged in with your Unity Asset account and click Add to My Assets. Since we already have our Unity project open, click Open in Unity. The Unity editor should now pop into the foreground and the package manager should automatically open. Indeed, it should open with the Oculus integration package already selected. So go ahead and click the download button. And once downloaded, import the package into your project. At the end of the importing process, a series of pop-up dialogues will appear. The first will ask you if you want to enable the newest version of the OVR plugin. Click Yes. The second dialog will ask you if you want to enable the OpenXR backend. Select Use OpenXR. Click OK. You will be asked if you want to restart the Unity editor. You will be asked this again in a moment. So for now, click Not Now. Next, you will be asked if you want to perform a cleanup of the SDK assets. Select Show Assets. Then click the Cleanup button. Since we are working with a new project, we don't want to back it up right now. Just click Clean Up Package. Next, you will be asked if you want to upgrade the Spatializer plugin. Click the Upgrade button. Finally, you will be asked again if you want to restart the editor. This time, click the Restart button. The Unity editor has restarted. We are now ready to build and deploy the Ultimate XR sample scene. In the project panel, under Assets, open the Ultimate XR folder. Then open the Examples folder, the Full Scene folder. Here you will find the Ultimate XR URP scene file. Double click it to open the scene. Ensure that your Quest headset is switched on and connected to your PC. Now go to the top menu and click File and then Build Settings. In the Build Settings window, note the Scenes in Build section at the top. Right click and select Remove Selection to delete any scenes in the list. Since the Ultimate XR scene is currently open, click the Add Open Scenes button. Now click on the Build and Run button. You will need to specify where your build is to be created. Personally, I like to create a folder called Build within each Unity project folder. I am going to save the app APK to this folder. I will call this file ultimatexr underscore test dot apk. Click the save button. The build process should now begin. It may take several minutes to complete. 
At the end of the build process, Unity will automatically deploy the APK to your Quest headset. In fact, the app should launch within your headset as soon as it has been installed. Regardless, you can always launch the app from MetaQuest's home menu by selecting the app library. Then from the app library panel, clicking the drop down menu from the upper right corner and selecting unknown sources. You should now see the Ultimate XR Test app in the list of available apps. Another way you can experience the Ultimate XR sample scene is to play it directly from the Unity editor. To do this, you will of course need to keep your headset connected to your PC. You will also need to put your headset into Quest Link mode. Additionally, you will need to have the Oculus plugin enabled for Windows in the XR plugin management section of the project settings. With all that set up, you only need to hit the play button at the top of the Unity editor and the sample scene should launch. Ok, that's it for now. In the subsequent tutorials, we will set up a simple scene from scratch and create some basic interactions using the Ultimate XR framework. But for now, goodbye and happy questing.